All right, guys, back with another video. We got the four-time world champion to my right, Bento, and we're gonna be doing an 18-hole stroke play match. Now, you guys have probably seen the video that we previously filmed. This was, that was a while ago, and that was your first time on the channel. It's like my most viewed video. Yeah. So, we're doing a rematch today. How are you feeling going into this? I'm really confident. I've been working on my swing, and it's been really good, and my putting has been good, too. I know you've been going through a little bit of a swing change, yeah. so it'll be interesting to see how you take that out to the course today. Yeah. 18 holes against the former ranked number one 11-year-old in the world and a four-time world champion. Let's get right into this. Bento's playing all the way back with me today. This is crazy. 12 years old, he's playing the same yardage as me. 18-hole stroke play, counting everything out. We're gonna have a final score on the day. I could shoot 85, I could shoot 65. You just never know. Let's flip that tee. All right, you got it. You're leading us off. Okay. Nice shot. Oh my God. <laughs> that was perfect. I think I, can, uh, I think I can get this one out there today. But that was a little butter fade right down the middle. Absolutely bomb. I gotta go over those trees, I think. Oh no. I'm gonna be in that bunker. Oh, I went right at that. Oh yeah, it did. Just up on top of that hill. Yeah. Mento, it's great to have you on the channel again. They probably already saw the video of you, the first one we did together. It was like my most viewed video on my channel. Yeah. Our video together. For the people that don't know, you're a four time world champion. Yeah, I won when I was six, seven, eight, and then when I was nine, I got runner up. And then when I was 10, I won. Oh, I. Four-time world champion. Yeah, I played my best round when I won the fourth time. I shot a 62. 62? Yeah. How old were you? I was 10. 10 years old and you shot a 62. Yeah. That's insane. What did you shoot under par for that week? Uh, 14 under. <laughs> what? That's insane. Well, you hit this drive just about as we're neck and neck here on the first hole. <laughs> yeah, I just uh, got outdriven by Bento. He's uh, right Lucky we're up here. We got 80 yards to the pin here. Going with a 60 degree. Sit, 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 sit. Okay. It's all right. I mean, I think on this hole, you don't want to be above the pin like that, but you win some, you lose some. I just can't believe you just outdrove me. I literally cannot believe this. This hole, you don't want to be short, so I just have a birdie putt in the middle of the green. Nice oh, shot. That was sick. Was that just a feel shot just or how? A feel shot. So you don't even, you just know 70 yards, I take it back this far. Yeah. That's insane. I got my sugary tea. I'm all, yee. First long putt to start out here. Greens look really smooth. No, that was so good. Now I got work. I did not, I just wanted it to catch the hole because I knew I hit it too hard. Right to left, say just right edge. <laughs> nice putt. It's a birdie. Thank you. Good job, man. Thank you. What a day. Absolute textbook birdie. Out drove me, hit a wedge shot, and made the putt. So. Oh. Oh my gosh. All right. I pulled it. That's usually where the arm lock helps me, but. Mm. All right, well, after the first hole, guys, I'm already two shots back, one over to one under. Good birdie there, Bento. Thank you. Well, now, what do you, when you play this course, 18 holes, what do you normally come out here and shoot? Um, I played yes uh, two days ago, and I shot from the tips one under, but the other course, but usually like even par or one over from the tips. And that's what we're playing today, so if I can, I'd be happy with that. Nice to leave it. I'd say the bar. back nine's a little longer than this nine. Okay. Second hole here, Bento, you said it's a par five. All right, you got the honors here. Thank Let's you. see it. Oh, it's good. Yeah. It hit the car, it's way down there. Too much to say. Oh man. It hit the car path too. You're gonna outdrive me again. Now I gotta crank this. Can't get outdriven twice. Great shot. Thank you. A little low on the face. That's perfect. Right in the middle. Thank 
Thank you. That is a narrow tee shot. Holy moly. Well, I think he might have outdriven me again. Yeah, you're fine. You did outdrive me again. Well, I hit it because the car passed through, so it would have been 20 yards shorter. <laughs> oh my gosh. I got 268 to the pin. We got to bounce back after that first hole. That's just a awful three putt, so. Three wood here. I'm gonna try and get there. I don't know if I can get all the way there. I think I can get just to the front of the green. Okay, I cannot hit it any better than that. That is perfect. Good job. Thank you. That was a high draw. Where did it go? It was a high draw. It's just short of the green. Oh. I don't think it's on the green because it was 270. I think I'm probably carried that about two. 58. I hit a little fade around these trees and put it just next to the green. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. That's all I wanted. Nice shot. Thank you. How far do you hit your three wood? 230. That that probably went a little further. That was downwind and I feel like that one rolled out. Yeah. Good job. I mean, I feel like you're coming back for revenge on me now. Yeah. Since, I, since I beat you last time, I feel like you've got some fire in you. Yeah. Well, after everything's said and done, Vento and I are neck and neck here. Up and down for birdie. Sit. Get him. How did... What? I gotta clean these grooves, man. I felt like I nipped that perfect. Thank you. Down the hill, left to right. Let's see if we can make this. We gotta feed it in there from the high side for the birdie. Get it. Oh, what was it? Right to left, just a little bit. Yeah. Nice spot. Thank there you. you go. Good park. Thank you. I'm one over, Bento is one under. He could have easily been two under. I mean, he had that for the birdie there. Super easy luck. What's really cool though, I'm gonna go ask him. He didn't even get, he didn't get all mad and start banging his putter around after he missed that putt. I'm gonna ask him about his mental game a little bit. You know what I love? You missed that putt. Obviously that was for two in a row to start out, but you didn't get all mad. You didn't start throwing your clubs like I see a lot of golfers do. So I have a way, um, I just think to myself, I can miss, but I'll make it. So if I miss, I won't get that frustrated. More likely I would make it. But right. after that, I don't like showing my, how angry I am. And I have like a 10 second rule to like feel calm after sent, 10 seconds after you hit a bad shot and then after like forget about it and just start So playing. you have 10 seconds to be a little mad. Yeah, just a little mad and then After that you have to forget after about that, it. Yeah. Like before you hit it you have to like like 10 seconds before you hit it you have to breathe and forget about the bad shot. Bento's got the honors here. He's one under. It's just crazy. Like he's that close to being two under after two, like stress free. Oh yeah. Dude, that's right at it. Go. What a shot! Nice shot. Oh my goodness. Thank you. Dude, I'm over here just like an absolute fan of Vento. I'm thinking of like cutting a five iron up against this wind. I usually don't cut it too much, but I can hold it up against this wind. Oh yeah. Oh my gosh. Where'd that end up? I think I rolled a little up to like 20, 15. I like these irons. I've been hitting the gym a little bit, Bento. Yeah. How is, has the gym helped you a lot? Like, are you, are you noticing you're gaining? Yeah, you're I'm gaining, gaining distances because I don't, I don't like do weight and bodybuilding. I, I do more golf workouts. Gotcha. So like when I'm doing golf workouts, I feel like when I come back, like the club is so light and I just swing it faster. Right. See, I hit just and, straight yeah. biceps. I just yeah. hitting the curls. Yeah. I, I don't, I don't mess with anything else. I just always right here, just yeah. arms, you know? Never touch legs. Right up the hill for birdie. There's like not much break here. I go a little that way, just a hair. This pin is one of the hardest on this whole green. So like if you go past, it'll go all the way down. And if he leaves it short, it might go a little down too. You gotta come back to my feet. Now I'm scared to putt this. Get it. <laughs> Don't you dare. Stop, okay. Thank you. Dang, that was 
That was close. Big right to left over here. Can't leave it short. No way. Oh, almost. I gotta say, like that's almost like an illegal pin. Because his almost came to a complete stop and then just kept trickling down. That's just crazy. Nice putt. Thank you. I mean, that never even, that never even scared any other part of the cup other than the center. Good job, Vento. All right, well guys, third hole, I'm one over. Vento's one under. He's got a two shot lead after three holes. 310, this is drivable. I'm getting after this thing, I'm swinging out of my shoes. Vento's gonna fly it on the green. He's gonna fly it 310 here. I can feel it. Oh. Go, go, go. Nice shot. Thank you. Dude, you're cranking it. That's gonna be a perfect angle. Okay, I gotta get after this one. I think I can get it there. Yeah. Come on. Go. Yeah, go. Oh, wow. Oh. You're over there in the bunker. Oh. Great shot. Dude, I actually, I rarely, guys, I gotta tell you, I rarely ever swing hard at drives, but I just carried that close to 310. I mean, it was about pin high. No room to bump in on this one. I have to, kind of a flop shot with a lot of spin. I can't try to be so much perfect, else it'll be way too short. Chunked it. Fine. Guys, this is so, so difficult. My ball is almost levitating. It's so high up in the air, so I, I mean, I gotta read this lie. That's one thing about golf, is you have to read the lie. If it's sitting down, you gotta play it different than if it's sitting up like this. So I'm gonna have to try and pick it off this surface, and then it also breaks hard left, so. We got two factors here, break and this lie. Oh, it got fringe boosted. That is so difficult. Oh my goodness. I tried to hit it over there and it literally just kicked left. Oh, maybe, maybe this hole is designed to lay up. Left to right here. Probably left of that old cup right there. Really fast putt too. Oh my God. It's so tough. On my chip shot, I actually had to go like up here and let it like funnel down to the left. Yeah, the pin, this pin's like the last one. Oh my gosh. Hold it. Come back in the hole. Yeah. Nice Thank work. you. Nice. Thank you. Good save. Thank you. Good job, brother. You'll notice one thing when Bento's putting, he really, his follow through extends to the hole and he's very confident over each putt, which is cool. I notice you're just really solid over each putt. Yeah. And that's just one thing I, I know that comes with practice. So how often are you practicing your putting? Because I just feel like when you get over those putts, you're just dead center every time. Yeah, well I go to my academy like three times a week. We had this really good putting coach okay. and we probably practice one hour Tuesday and one hour Thursday. But when I'm alone, I, I practice like an hour and a half an hour. We're, Every day. Yeah. That, that's awesome. I, I truly need to do that. I just, yeah. I haven't practiced putting in like a year. So I, I only when I'm filming is when I'm practicing yeah. putting. So I need to actually get to the putting green. I had a prime opportunity right there to narrow the lead. Vento's still got a two shot lead after that onto a pretty narrow hole here. It's got the honors. What is this hole? This is a par five. It's a dog leg left. But you'll probably have a wedge in, in the second shot. Trump that drive. That's a good miss though. Yeah. Wow, sit, sit, sit. That's the thing, it's all about those miss hits. When, you, when Bento hits a bad shot like that, it's still in play. That's, that's a great sign. That passes that, that's so good. As good as I can hit it. I got that perfect. That's great shot. Okay. All right, Benta, live or PGA? I like PGA Tour better, but if I got offered that much money, I would accept it. Would you? Yeah. You're gonna live. Hey, I, I don't think I can blame you. I mean, shoot, that's a, that's a lot of money. I've heard the numbers. I know. I know how much these guys went for. So can't blame them. Yeah. You know, the legacy of the PGA Tour is a big yeah. thing. You got to look yeah. at when you're on the PGA Tour. You're forming a legacy for yourself. Yeah. So, are you laying up here? I'm gonna lay up uh, before that the rough on the right, and then have a like a 130 yard shot. 
Nice shot. Sit now. Nope. Nice. Yep. Perfect. Thank you. Good job, brother. These trees here are talking to me. I can hear them creaking. Okay. All right, well, here we go. We got 240 yards here to the pen. I don't know. It's either a hybrid or my three wood, but it's into the wind. I might just hit a nice three wood. If I hit that hybrid and I'd miss it just a little bit, it could go in the water. So I just gotta hit the three wood here. We're alive. We're alive. That was not it. I, I turned it over just a little too much. That one gets the heart rate yeah. up when it's going left like that and you kind of know it's going in the water. It stayed up. We're good. Bento's playing MBs. Blades. Here we go. 140s hit an 8 iron. What made you play the MBs? Like, what made you just play those irons instead of like I've all MBs? I've always like dreamed to have like this thin club. You like blades? Yeah. So I got it from TaylorMade. I didn't hit them like right away because I saw that I was going shorter and. Oh yeah, yeah. I like if I thinned it, it would go like really, really short. Right. So when I started like my swing was better and hitting them better, I went to the MBs and it, like it was perfect for me. Yeah, I love blades until you miss hit them. You yeah, know? yeah. Then the second you miss hit them, then it's in the water yeah. and you don't love them as much. Yeah. I gotta say, I've given myself so many good chances today. So this is this is time we finally convert. Wow. That is crazy. I thought I hit that pretty good and we still got a good 12 feet here. Really long putt here, right to left. But most important is being here. No way. Ooh, nice putt. putt. Thank you. Good job. Nice. He just doesn't make mistakes. That's, that's it. Hey, I'm trying my hardest. I'll tell you that, guys. I'm out here trying as hard as I can to shoot a good round, and we're one over. Bento's still one under. On to the sixth hole of the day. So do you have a, a pro that you look up to for inspiration? Yeah, Jordan Speed. Jordan Speed. Yeah. Okay. So that's, did you try and model your game after him? Yeah, like you my putt putting is the same, yeah, cross-handed. And I do the same thing as he does. He like relaxes his arms before he hits. I do the same thing. I know, I see you like shaking out yeah. the tension and yeah. then you grip it. Yeah. Hole six, it's a par four and it's 370. You got the honor still, Bento. Yep. I can, I'm trying so hard to catch him. I can't gain a shot on you right now. Nice. Good swing. That was bomb. That was bomb. Thank you. Here we go. I'm gonna go just a little right of that. I just pulled it a little bit. I'm gonna hit my six iron. I don't want to be short again. I'm gonna hit a little soft shot here. Nice shot. Go. Oh. Nice. Nice. Yeah. That just missed that tree. I know. I oh. thought it was going higher than that. <laughs> well, my drive, guys, it looks like it's down by a bush here. So, uh,. That's great. Oh yeah, it's not holding too good here. I didn't know I carried this hole. This is where we ended up, guys. We're gonna have to punch it. We're gonna have to punch it back out to the fairway. Mm. Little twig. Ow. Yeah. Ow. Dude, this bush is like no joke. Built for war. Sick. Nice shot. Thank you. All right, up and down for par. 125 here, a little downwind. I think I'm gonna hit a full 52 degree. Gotta attack this. Sit there. All right. Woo, got mud on me. Uh, we got that for the par, so gonna have to make a, a hefty putt. That was kind of, for me at least, just a course management error. I, I don't really think this is a driver hole for me. It's only 370, so. 
It was more like a three wood off the tee so I don't bring all that trouble into play. I know next time not to hit driver there. Straight up the hill. We got a long one here for the par. Just drill a long par putt. No. That's right. We're two over now. Right to left putt. Gonna break a lot at the end. But three shots back now of Vento. I'm gonna, I'm gonna come back. I can feel it. I feel really good over my swing and I feel good over the putter. It just, nothing's happened yet. We're two over. Seventh hole here. We're almost halfway through this round already. 128, par three. It's beautiful. Super inviting. I'm hitting a controlled nine iron. A little dry in there. Okay, let's see it. back. That's okay. Fell back and they kind of chunked it. I got a pitching wedge here. I think it's just a nice one. No, I pulled that. Those were two pretty medium. Yeah. <laughs> Those were some bad shots on this par three here. Yeah. We got we got some tricky up and downs. Yeah. Let's get up and down here. Kind of been slacking on my chipping. Great shot. Thank you. Look at it rolling, look at it rolling. I'm telling you, whoever put these pins, they were having a bad day. We hit a mid-height shot here. Not too spinny and not too running. That was sick. Thank you. Oh, that's just how hard these pins are. If Bento was just to the right of that, it would actually fell into the cup. Can I finish? Yeah, go ahead, you can finish. That's a par. Two pars. Really good saves there. Good job, Mentel. That was awesome, man. Good shot. Those were not easy up and down. That keeps everything the way it was on the previous hole. Three shots back. I'm two over. Vento is still one under par. From the tip. 12 year old. Here we go. Eighth hole of the day. Par four. Goes way over to the right there. I'm going to try and cut this off. Still got the honors, Bento. I have not taken the tee box from Bento yet. Go over. Dang, that was ripped though. You might have got through it. Or you, so oh, you did get through it. That you was got so it lucky. Off. I'm going to take that line. Oh. That's fine. Let's try to go straight in. Drawing though. That's fine. There's rough there. I don't want to make excuses, but I need to get more wraps under this grip. It just is a little bit skinny, and my hands feel like they're turning over too easy. So I'm just a very like handsy player. Oh my Whoa. gosh, his jaws are open. That's a, that's a full grown lizard right there. That's a full grown Florida man eater too. 106 to the pen, it's birdie time. I got it, I got to break the seal. It's like I, I've been just stuck on this par and bogey train. You gotta do it here. I like that swing. That was shallow. I thought it was going to turn in there a little more. You said you've never seen an alligator on this entire course. Yeah. That thing is huge. It's got to be real. <laughs> that gator is giant. He's so fat too. 100 yard shot. I have to get over these trees. It might be a little short because I have to hit it high. I gotta start hitting my wedges like that. Yeah. You like hit them on the upswing more and I'm I'm like chopping straight down into it. Yeah. You're almost like picking them off there, you know? Yeah. It's gonna bounce a little, so it's probably gonna be a little slower. Oh, it hopped. Yeah, it's fine. Still oh. got through it. Yeah. I'm feeling something. Yeah, right? yeah. you can leave it out. Left to right here, inside the hole though. I push that. I keep pushing it. All right, for the par. Thank you. We narrowed the lead finally. I'm only two shots back on Bento. After a bogey, he's even par. I'm two over. Finally, I get to hit the first tee shot. 
ninth hole here. This is an 18 hole video. Two shots back, I'm two over, Bento's even. Let's see if we can start narrowing this lead. Bento's up now. Driver just feels a little, a little off right now, so I gotta figure that out. Nice. That was beautiful. That has no spin. Yep. I like the swing, but I didn't hit it as well. 175 here, five iron. Oh. oh, yeah. Come on, go. oh. Great nice shot. Nice shot. Thank you. Wow. Thank you. That was a five iron too. Yeah. Over that shot, did you have a shot shape in mind there when you just hit that five iron? Yeah, or was go through and hit a little fade. You're like trying I, to hit a fade. Like I aim a little left to the hole and put my club right at the hole and just do a normal swing and I'll do a little fade. So you aim your body left yeah. and the face is aimed at yeah. the hole. And then you just swing to your like where your feet is aiming and it'll go a little right. Gotcha. Yeah. I got 162 here. Gonna go with a seven iron. We're back into the wind. A little punch seven. Oh, be good. Great shot. Oh, hit your ball. Great shot. Thank you. When you actually see a shot in your mind and you pull it off like that, it feels so good. I just switched these P770s and they're a lot thicker. Yeah. So my kind of my fear is that they're gonna go a lot further. But that I punched a seven iron 162 into the breeze. It felt like it really didn't go any further than it should have. Yeah. You are gonna give me the read here, Bento. Saw the read there, no excuses. Let's make a freaking pot. Just didn't hit it. That's one of the tougher holes. Yeah. That's it for the front nine. We're on to the back. I'm two over par, Bento's even par. I'm trying guys, I'm trying so hard to make a nice pot. I feel good over the putts, just a couple inches off. We're heading on to this back nine here. You said it's a lot harder. Back nine is more narrow, I think, and harder. Wow, I, thought, I mean, I thought that was pretty narrow. Like, I really did think that was a yeah. pretty narrow golf course. So, back nine, here we come. Tenth hole here, guys. I got the honors. 390. Got a driver. Put down that left side. Start playing some golf here. Pull that just down the left side there. I think we're gonna be okay though. Oh no. All right. Different ways. That's okay. Long way, but it's it's up. All right, we got Bento's brother in here. Did you just get your Under Armour sponsorship too? Yeah. They sponsored you as well. Yeah. Are you a big golfer too? A little bit. A little bit. Who's better right now? Bento. Bento's better than you. All right, let's watch this shot here. 165. What's he hitting? Do you think? Uh -huh. Uh, one sixty seven. Yeah. Or nine. I'm hitting. No, I'm hitting six. Six. Okay. Deep in the rough here. I have one seventy. I would hit seven iron, but I'm gonna hit six iron. Yep, I did. Get in the bunker. Get in the bunker. Just short. Right. So what do you normally shoot? Uh, he usually shoot one, what? Two. One over. Yeah. One two over. Two. One or when two he over? plays that, he shoots under. Gotcha. That's awesome. That's crazy. You're already that good? A little bit. Oh, you're over here. Not better than mental. 80 yards here. I got a 60 degree. <laughs> oh, no. Sorry. Technical difficulties. Camera lady is sneezing. <laughs> little 60. 80 yards. Did that go up through the tree? Yeah, you like threaded the needle. I did not try and do that. I like tried to went go... in between like two little twigs. I tried to go. I tried to go over it, but that's like the closest birdie luck I think I've had all day. I think uh, Bento's brother, he's good luck, and he's gonna read my putt here for me. We're gonna bring him in for a read. Just wanna bounce it like ten, five feet from the pin, and I can't go short, so long is better here. Oh no. Hit it way too hard. You're giving me a chance here. I am. You're letting me back in it. Really hard putt here. Left to right. If I stop it at that old cup right there, it's perfect. Yep. No 
way. Sit, sit, sit. Ooh. I need the read here. I think it's right here. Okay. <laughs> here we go. For the birdie. Great spot. Thank you. That's Benicio. Thank you for the read. All right. All right. A lot just changed in one hole, guys. That was a double for Bento. A birdie for me because of Benicio. He, he read my putt. I, I felt confident there and I actually rolled it in. Currently, I'm now one over. Bento is two over, right? Yep. We got a one shot lead. It's crazy how much just changed in one hole. Yeah. I know. You've been, you've had the lead on me basically all yeah. day. One hole, a lot changed. So now two over to one over. Yeah. Eight more holes to go. What's your mindset now? Just after keep that? playing. Just it keep was playing. one hole. Right. Doesn't mean your one hole changed your whole swing, so. Right. Eleventh hole, par five. I got so much sugar, my hands are like full on shaking right now. I got too much of that sweet tea in my body. Four ninety, par five. Wow. The tree might be on your way, but good. the best drive of the day for me. Yeah, hundred percent. Nice swing, Bento. Little fade there. Thank you. Perfect. Great shot. All right, par five here. Some birdies, and we're heating up now. I feel like the tides, we kind of got settled in on that front nine. We're gonna make some birdies now. I'm good. I'm gonna need to start bringing your brother in for every putt. Yeah. I mean, that's the first birdie I've made all day, and that was because he read it. So I think I would have played that putt left to right if your brother didn't read that yeah. for me. He said left center. I'm like, what? So I walked around to the back. Yeah. It actually does break just a yeah. little to the right. I got 243 here. I'm gonna hit a little fade. Probably gonna be a little short, but if I hit it really, really good, I might get there. No. Oh, you hit it hard. Don't hit that tree. Oh, that's good. I think that's pretty good. Yeah, that's gonna be that pin high. Yeah. Dude, what the heck? Crank that three wood. 231, hybrid, going right for this pin. Hit a good little cut here. Yeah, I wanna, I wanna hit a cut. It's not my favorite shot shape, but I'm gonna try it. Oh no. That's fine, you'll have it up and down. Sit there. Oh no, it bounced right. What's down there? Just rough. Okay. That took a big bounce to the right. See, that's my issue right there, Bento, with a fade, is I start it to the right. I gotta start yeah. it left. Yeah, yeah. So I gotta aim maybe my feet more yeah, or less. Yeah, just a little, because then if you hit it straight, it's perfect, so... And... I know, but it's just frustrating, because like yeah. I try and hit a fade, and I push it right, and then it fades. Like, yeah, I have yeah. to actually start it over there yeah. for it to work out. Absolutely wild. Bento just hit it 243 with his three-wood. 12 years old. Pin high here on a par five. It's mind-blowing, because I was hitting it... When I was, tw okay, I started playing golf at 13, and when I started playing at 13, I was literally hitting the ball. Like, if I hit my driver 200, that was insane. All right, bump and run here, breaks a little left to right. Yep, yeah. rough. Oh, shorts. Up and down for the birdie. This would feel good. Good thing is, we left ourselves with an uphill putt there. Bad thing is, it's way left. I, I just keep leaving them low. Breaks left to right, I'm gonna aim like a cup left. Sure. I might need Benicio to come over here and read this putt. A little right to left, up the hill, come on. Thank you. Woo, baby. That's back-to-back -back birdies. Takes me to even par. I think Bento is now two over. It's been a, it's been an awesome match. Bento had a three-shot lead at one point. Now I got a two-shot lead. So we've we've you know teeter-tottered back and forth. Twelfth full of the day here coming up. Par four. It looks a little bit on the shorter side. Got the honors. Trying to keep the pedal down. I'm playing against the course really. Just trying to shoot a good score today. Driver here. This hole's basically straight away. This is the biggest fairway I've seen all day, pretty much. Yeah, watch the trees here. Fading right there. That's it. Shot. It's fine. 
47 into the wind. I hit my 7 iron. Oh, it's right at it. Come on, go. Right at it. Nice, nice. Shot. A little short, but it's been Yeah, I can feel you're heating. You're getting a little. You got the competitive juices coming out. Yeah. He's getting fired up now. He's not taking this no more. You don't become this good at golf and not have fire. Only got 121 here, center of the fairway. Let's attack this with a pitching wedge. Oh. Oh, wow. Oh. Thank you. Let's go. Come on. Breaks a little right to left both ways starts breaking left and then goes right i'll say about in the middle of the cup because it'll break the same way. straight up the hill here gotta be maybe a degree right to left thank you three in a row i don't do that every day Nice. nice job. Let's uh, let's keep this pedal down here. Let's see how many we can make in a row. Let's keep it going. Three in a row, I think it's the most I've made on my channel. So if we can hit four here, we'll break a new record. That takes me now to one under par. Bento, you're, you're two, two over. Okay, another par four. It's the longest in this nine. Okay. This hole right here? Okay. It looks short, but it's like not. Okay. Here we go. And I gotta start drinking more of this tea. The magic tea. I haven't even ate all day. This is crazy. I don't know how I just had three berries. I'm actually like, my body, I can just feel it. It's like all jittery. Oh no. What happened? I think that might be fine. Guys, I went just down the left side there. I mean, it felt like a really solid golf swing. Once again, I just feel like this grip's a hair too small right now. I gotta make it a little thicker. It's got to feel long playing from these tees, you know? Yeah. How long is it from these tees? 6,700. Wow. 6,700 yards. And, I mean, you're playing all the way back with me today. We're playing it straight up. You guys got to realize how long that is. That's just crazy. I mean, you're, you're probably going to have like two tenons to this yeah. screen here. It's 185 here. I've been short like every hole, so I'm just going to hit a hybrid to go in the middle. Okay. 135 here. We got lucky. I mean, when things are going your way, sometimes they're really going your way. I got to go up through this gap. Man, 135. I might have to hit an 8 iron to keep it low enough. There's no 8 iron in my bag. I love it. I think I left the 8 iron. I was switching out the TWs today, and I think I left the 8 iron at the house. So, I'm going to have to hit 7 now. Just got to keep it low enough. That's the main thing here. That's fine, I just, mmm, dang. It's all right, we're gonna be in the bunker there. Let's hold this out for the fourth birdie in a row. Speaking of birdie streaks, what is your longest streak of birdies you've had? I think it was six. That's nuts. Yeah. I, my, I think mine is four. If I ever beat four, that'd be pretty cool, but yeah. yeah. I gotta hit another flop shot here. When it kicks, it's gonna kick right. So aim a little left of the pin. We're up into the hill here. If I make this, that's four in a row. I'm gonna hit a 56 instead of a 60. I wanna get this past the pin. I really wanna make this for birdie. I tried. That's a good lead though. I'll take it. Right to left here. Missing it on the low side today, hitting it short. Come in there. Oh. Good try. Well, I didn't leave myself with the easiest putt. I almost have to play this outside the hole here for par. Thank you. Whew, that's all right. Did not want to make a bogey there. We're still one under par. Nice job, Bento. 
bogey. Bento makes a bogey there. It takes him now to three over. I'm one under. We got a four shot lead. So have you found it difficult gauging your yardages now that you're growing so much and yeah, getting stronger? Yeah, it's getting difficult. Yeah, because you're always having to probably get refit. Too. Yeah, yeah. 14th hole here, 196. I got a five iron. Oh, I missed it. Well, that might still get there. Go. Oh. Go. But if I was playing a blade right there, that would have been 40 yards short. So that, I mean, that's just off the front of the green. You got an easy up and down. Oh no. That's pretty good, it's coming back. Yeah, it's coming back. No way. Nice shot. Nice. <laughs> it, it faded and then it drilled. Yeah, I know. Holy crud, how'd you do that? It went literally, it went like this. Yeah. This is about as straightforward of a pitch shot as you can get, straight up the hill. Can be aggressive here. I do want to leave it, if anything, below the pin, but I know I can get aggressive. Try and hold this out. Oh. Nick. Right when I hit it, I knew it was just a little too aggressive there. Too much hit in that. Like, one thing when I'm chipping, I never try and, like, hit at it. I want to take a long enough backswing so I can let the club just kind of fall on it. I like that right too. to left again. Um, regret and standing is good. A lot of work here, but it's like dead straight. No way. Oh my. It just went like right off the face, it just went left. You shouldn't hit it hard enough. No, I, I just wanted to respect it. That drops me now to even par. Bento is three over, he's three shots back. So par four here, it's probably around like 380, 390. It's a dog leg right. I'm just gonna aim at that bunker right there. Hopefully it goes a little right. Oh yeah. Nice shot. That was ball. Great swing. Nice. That's your little face. Yeah. That would be a draw. Fine. Yeah. Well, it's got bento's down. I'm, my, yeah, my miss is just a little on the left today. Never She's closing worked. it down. What do you say? Never miss it, right? Like yeah. It. I gotta say though, it does feel good. I know when you're hitting your fade, mm -hmm. you feel like you're in control. But like, I, I hit my draw and I feel like if anything, it's just gonna turn yeah, over a little bit. Yeah, that's why I don't hit draws. I know. Because when, when a draw turns over, yeah, it doesn't like listen gone, to you. Yeah. yeah, it rolls. But when a fade, like over fades. It like stops right away. It just sits on the ground. You keep it in play every time. I got 142 here. I'm gonna hit my fade. I'm gonna aim left of the left of the green and fade it to the pin. Oh. That's it. Nice, nice shot. That was a great strike. Thank you. That sounded beautiful. Then it's just a little left of the pin here, your little fade. Perfect. You cannot take relief from this car path. This is the coquina, this is the sandy car path. So I gotta play it off of here. I got 119, I have to keep it under this tree. Going for like a low fade, the nine iron. Oh my God, that's good. Whoa. No. That felt like that was it. I know. Just Where'd it go? It. So in the bunker, just oh, left in that bunker. Dang. I'm looking at your swing here on video. Yeah. Do, you, do you look at your swing a lot? Do you like break yeah. down? Yeah. You do? Yeah. Do you see how I start a little right in the beginning? Did yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, off of here. Like your yeah. your, your path goes out yeah. and then you kind of loop it and back. And then I in. come in, yeah. So are you trying to like make I'm sure? I'm trying it... to start it straight and it'll go back. Gotcha, I see. But then I have to pick up the club and then it'll go straight, but I'm not like consistent with it. Right. Here we go. This is the worst thing in golf to look at. I mean, plugged lie in the bunker. We got a little egg here. On this shot, I'm just gonna stat, I'm just gonna completely come straight down on it and stop my follow through. Oh my God, what a shot. That almost just dumped. If that hit oh the flag, it would've been. That, that came that close to just flying in on the Oh, now we got a long putt for par. We're just opening this door for Bento. I'm a, 
I'm a very unlucky golfer. I can be lucky, but that is just so unlucky. It really was. Right to left again. I want to get past this hole, so I'm going to aim right edge here. Did I just leave it short again? No. Okay, good par. You had it dead center. Oh, he just didn't hit it. Well, just dropped another shot there. I'm one over par now. Bento is three over. So par four, hole 16. It's straight ahead. I'm just, it's 375. I'm just gonna aim, at, aim it left and fade it a little bit. Nice. That was pure. Thank you. That was one of your best swings. Yeah. Tony, that little thank you that he says, he said, he probably says 500 times a day. Especially when he goes to the range and the people here at this golf course are all coming up and going, great swing, Bento, thank you. Oh my gosh, I hit that bad. It's gonna work. Good job. Thank you. Really bad strike, but Thanks to my fart. Okay, 150 here. The wind and the uphill is probably adding like 20 yards. So I'm gonna hit my six iron with the, my fade. Didn't fade it. It's fine, I think. Yeah. Nice. Nice shot. 119 here. Going with a pitching wedge. When I had 121, I stuck it. So I'm gonna kind of do that same golf swing. So flighted pitching wedge into the wind here. Oh yeah, oh yeah, come on. Ah. Thank you. There we go. Pretty good, just blocked it a hair. I got it left to right this time. Really fast putt. I just don't want to leave it short again. Nice putt. Oh. Thank you. Good speed. Well, I gotta go up and over a ridge here. Kind of putting uphill and then it starts to go downhill. No. Hold it. Stress free. Stress free par. Nice job, Bento. Nice. All right, two holes to go here. Bento is two shots back. You know, we're both we're both trying to beat each other, but the cool thing is we played some pretty solid golf yeah. today. Like, you're only three over, I'm one over. Maybe that's not your ideal score, but... Um, it's just one bad hole. Yeah, honestly. Yeah. 143 here. The wind is helping. I'm gonna hit my nine iron. I played it really good. Put there. Got a hold of that one. Wow. I'm going with a pitching wedge here. Full one for me. Full swing. Okay. Not my best. I just kind of turned it over a little too much, but it's good contact. We're pin high. Left to right here. It's going to go uphill and then a little downhill. Just speed again. Don't leave it short. I have a chance to make it. Oh, that was good. Got it there. His biggest goal I know right now is, is getting the ball to the hole, and he got it there. I'm kind of feeling this one here. A little left to right down the hill. Just looks very inviting. Wow. Finally. <laughs> Finally. There we go. All right. Nice. Nice. Thank you. It's probably the longest putt I've made with the arm lock. No, actually, no. That, take that back. I made one on Eric's channel. It was 60 feet. But, well, that feels so good to make a putt like that. That takes me to even par. Bento's three over. Three shots back heading into the final hole. Final hole of the day. Par five. Dead downwind. We can easily get there in two shots. Here we go. Almost sets up for a little fade here. Thank you. Thank you. That was ripped. I'm gonna be able to probably get there with an iron. 
rough. Yeah. Kind of went down the left side there. Is the water cut in? No. Oh, okay. I think you're gonna be fine though. You're you're honestly you're making it shorter yeah. for yourself yeah, to get to the green. I, I didn't know I could hit it that far. 224. Um, I'm hitting hybrid. I would hit three wood, but this rough. I don't just I don't feel confident with the three wood. That's all right. I like the aggression. Not too short? Yeah. I got 208 over the water. I'm gonna go with a five iron, kind of straight down wind. So let's finish strong. Oh, uh -oh. pushed it. Okay. in the sand well guys if you made it this far in the video thank you so much for watching and make sure you go check out bento's socials i'm going to link them in the description he does a bunch of really cool trick shots a bunch of really sweet stuff so make sure you go check that out i'm gonna hit a pitching edge so i can bump it around <sighs> up and down for a birdie to shoot one under I did think that was gonna pull off of this, this slope here, but it stayed pretty straight. I'll take that. This would be for a very solid round of golf. Left to right, a little slider here. Oh. That felt great. Nice, nice putt. Thank you. There you go. Okay, here we go. For the par. Scrape it in. Nice shot. Thank you. Guys, well, thanks for tuning in to another video. Shout out to yeah. Bento for coming on the channel. 12 years old. He just played from 6,700 yards and shot 76. And that I know is not your best stuff. Yeah. I know you, you had one, one or two bad holes. Yeah, I had one bad hole in the back nine. I wasn't that confident with my putting, but in like the last four holes, it got a little better. Right. Yeah, I think we, we battled it out neck and neck all day. He had me out, he had me by four shots at one point. So it feels good to come back, shot even par, until shot 76. Until next time. Peace.